Hello there, minions. Welcome to another weekly wrap up. Today, we're going to go through everything that was posted to this channel and my Storytime channel this week. And we're also going to talk a little bit about video game exclusives and whether or not they matter anymore. Let's go have a chat. Alrighty, minions, let's get right into it. As usual, links for everything will be down below. The first video that I posted this week was actually one that I had queued up from a while back when I was playing um, some PS4. PS4. Jesus, man. So, PC Battlefield 4. And uh, so I played, a, uh, played some more PC Battlefield 4, had that video queued up, posted some gameplay. So, here's a clip of me. Still with a little bit of potato aim in PC Battlefield 4. Good God. I'm gonna get you. How are you not dead? I've shot you so many times. Thank God. <laughs> Back to full auto. They're pushing hard. Get in an angle they don't expect. Jesus. Man. <laughs> Gotta work on my gunfights. Make sure you guys go check that out if you want to see me. Maybe not up to my usual dexterity with shooting people in the face. <laughs> um, the next video that I posted uh, was a zombies video. I played some more zombies with Seb and I've just been enjoying capturing that as we've been going. So I put together another video of that. I uh, got it posted. It was a, a good time. I love playing with him, although he does have the bad habit of trying to punch zombies a lot more than he tries to shoot them, which gets him mobbed a lot. But uh, it's still a good time. So here's a clip from Seb punching some zombies. Stupid. And the car blew up! Tempests are dicks. Come on, I like that attack buggy! Dad, I want to bop something to death. Oh, Dad. Wait, no, not that one. Not this one. Eh, eh. Dad, I want to bop something to death. Oh, my God. Fine. This weirdo. What? It's fun watching them pop. Are you serious? You can't let me have any fun. <laughs> Try to keep you alive, bro. It's one zombie. You always think it's one zombie, but I'm always shooting six zombies that are around you. So yeah, be sure to go check that one out. It's a good time. Um, and just rolling right along. Uh, still in the same vein of zombies, although it may not be the reason you want to unlock it. I finally posted a video of the fastest way, um, what I think is the most entertaining way to unlock both the ballistic knife and the crossbow in, in Cold War. And the multiplayer challenges for those are such a slog. I mentioned before that there's a better way to do it in zombies, but I was getting a lot of zombies crashes and I still am, but I managed to get a zombies gameplay that didn't completely crash out on me. Um, I even got to Xville. And so I got to put together a video of how to unlock the ballistic knife and the crossbow in zombies in a way that's actually a lot of fun if your game doesn't freeze. So here's a clip from that. Now all I would need to do is complete these challenges with this grenade launcher. So I would kill 300 of any enemy with this grenade launcher, which honestly going around and just murdering zombies with the grenade launcher is a, is a boat ton of fun. Um, I tried messing around with a multiplayer uh, 
challenge for this after I had those zombie freezes where for the ballistic knife it's get one melee kill and one uh, one shot, one kill medal in a single life in 15 different games, which is just as horrible and painful a grind as it sounds. And I, I just wouldn't recommend it. This, once you do the legwork, which you're already playing zombies, so it's already fun. Um, once you get this upgraded, then you just get to go around blowing up zombies until you kill 300 of them. And make sure you go and hunt down uh, specials. All right, so make sure you go check that one out if you want more details about how to unlock stuff. Even though Call of Duty Cold War is still kind of like irritating me, although I'm really enjoying zombies, I still feel like I need to unlock everything. So there will also be an upcoming video for how to unlock the Carve 2, I think is what it's called, the new burst fire rifle. I just unlocked it today uh, in zombies. And uh, it's super quick in zombies, even more than the ballistic knife. So I'll be sure to get a video posted for that hopefully by next week. Um, one last thing got posted this week to my Storytime channel, Episode 2 of Horizon Zero Dawn, a new series that I started. Um, so it's a, it's a, obviously a good game. It's time for me to catch up. Uh, but here is a quick clip of, of that video. I'm assuming he's going to just resume his path of murderous travel after I F him up. So we will set another trap. Got some fire arrows, some electric trip wires. It's gonna be glorious. Oh shit. I got too aggressive. Oh shit. Okay, well this is bad. I got a little too aggressive. Good to know. Yes, thank you. Glad I set that other tripwire. Oh, there's a timer thing on the circle. Got it. All right. Well, that hurt. But I got you. Jesus criminy. So yeah, if you're interested in some Horizon Zero Dawn and maybe some Mystery Science Horizon, <laughs> for those of you familiar with Mystery Science Theater, um, this is basically how I'm doing my story times until I get to a point where I can come together for a cinematic. Um, but yeah, go check that video out. Uh, I got another story time episode coming up soon, probably early next week. And uh, I mentioned it in the last weekly wrap up because as you can tell, I'm still struggling with my voice. <clears throat> I, uh, I didn't quite get it on schedule as I wanted this week. But those of you who went and checked out my story time channel, maybe you haven't figured it out. The game that I'm gonna be adding is the PS5 exclusive Returnal, which I played uh, about an hour of it so far and uh, I want to record more episodes. Um, they're going to be story time episodes just because I play through it, although I am going to cut up some clips and put them on the main channel because I just think the uh, PS5, you know, exclusive, like, in my mind, the first, well, not in my mind, but in reality, the first PS5 exclusive game that I've bothered to spend money on and the full next-gen $70 price tag. So I'm playing Returnal. I'm going to post some content here, but I'm going to post basically a story time series to uh, my story time channel so if you guys really want to see more returnal uh either keep an eye on my weekly wrap-ups or go sub to that channel and uh yeah that's what's got me wanting to talk about the topic this week which is how important are console exclusives or really any platform exclusive these days as far as overall your impact as a gamer so i have some favorites right like i've been a I won't say a lifelong Sony faithful. I've always considered myself more of a PlayStation guy ever since PlayStation 1, you know, back when I was somewhat young. <laughs> and uh, I did kind of cheat on PlayStation for a little bit during the PS3, Xbox 360 era when the when Sony made their kind of like Xbox One mistake of trying to turn the PS3 into this all-encompassing living room computer entertainment experience. And it was just a pain for developers, so I just for the sake of playing some fucking video games, got the Xbox 360. 
Um, and since then, I've actually kind of been a dual platform kind of guy. Um, that said, I've got some of my favorite series on both platforms. So like I love the Halo games, I love the Uncharted games, I love the Forza series, I love the Gran Turismo series, I love Gears of War, I love um, Last of Us. So I don't necessarily think Returnal falls in the category of like a series of games that's gonna make me fall in love with the PlayStation brand or pick one over the other. But I know for a lot of people, who aren't necessarily as lucky as me to be able to, A, be able to find any of the next-gen consoles, much less both of them, and be able to play with them. Console exclusives can be the deciding factor, because if you like Call of Duty, you can get PC, PS5, um, Series X, Series S. You can even get still Xbox One or PS4 for now we'll see what's going to go on in the next year or two as as they try to catch up with demand on the hardware while they're still producing software but when i think about like how important an exclusive is for which platform i pick i think in a lot of ways that's still true which is why i tend to buy both consoles but because because i did that kind of switcheroony <laughs> and in the ps3 era um, I actually got a PS3 before I got a 360, but I got so tired of waiting for games that I got a 360 as well. And then I kind of started playing all of these exclusives on each platform and fell in love with several of them. So um, now the console exclusives matter to me, but it means that I have to get both consoles <laughs> in order to do that. Um, the stuff that's cross-platform is making me a lot more happy, at least from a multiplayer experience, because some of my friends or the people I play with or just people in general, if I want to play Call of Duty with you or you guys want to play Battlefield with me or something like that, it's nice that those cross-platform games are becoming cross-play, and I think I'm going to do a dedicated video on cross-play. So that's really great. These exclusives are the more divisive ones, and I understand why the platforms need them. Um, but yeah, for me, it just kind of makes it to where I have to get both of the, the systems if I want to be loyal to both. Although I did kind of skip for the entire, most pretty much the entire generation, the Xbox One. Um, and I missed, what, one Halo game and one Gears of War game, which I caught up on right at the very end of the console cycle. So this is the part where I want to hear you guys' thoughts. That's kind of a, a short, I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet, a kind of short thought dive into how important console exclusives are let me know which console exclusives or pc exclusives maybe if you're like fuck you guys i don't play console because of my favorite games on pc um or nintendo switch seb loves the switch um leave your thoughts down below on what series you love um do they do they keep you buying a single console staying in one ecosystem or did or have you been kind of like me and you've been sucked into having to buy multiple consoles so you can play all the games you want um yeah, that's uh, kind of my, my thoughts for this week. What you missed on the channel, go check out the links for everything I talked about down below. Uh, leave comments. As always, I want to interact with you guys more. So it's good to see you around here, minions. And I will talk to you again soon. See ya.